Welcome to our latest micro nugget on the Junos SRX security flows. So exactly what is it that my router is paying attention to or my security gateway is paying attention to when we move it through security? All right, one of these daunting little tables that we have here kind of explains everything about how packets are going to get treated. Okay. Now remember, we have both stateless policies and stateful policies that we have. When a packet comes in, these things right here are stateless. So any per packet filters, my generic firewall filters, my policers, anything like that that takes place for every packet will still happen when a packet comes in. Then in a flow based model, I'm going to actually look for a stateful session. If I don't have one, so this is the first packet that I have along the way, then I really have to go through a series of steps in here. And all of these are going to be lookups. Okay, these are used to determine what the treatment's going to be. So I'm not doing anything right here, I'm just looking everything up and kind of getting it ready. So I will go through and take a look at my screen options. So these are my firewall options that we'll be talking about in a little bit. Uh, if destination NAT is used, I'll go ahead and apply that because if I'm changing destination, I kind of have to make that change before I do a route lookup. If that's used, cool. If not, then I know my destination address. I will perform a route lookup. If it's already in my forwarding table, I'm good to go. If not, I'll go and look it up, you know, normal routing procedure, figure out what the exit interface and stuff is going to be. Because what that'll do is get me to the point when I have my ingress interface, so where it came in to begin with, and my egress interface that I learn up here, that will allow me to determine what the zones are. Okay, so the zones is really where I get my policy, and we'll be talking about that in some later nuggets, the, the details of it anyway. But I gather my information here about what my zones are so I know what policy that needs to apply. Once we have all that, take a look and see if there's going to be any source network address translation going on or any application layer gateway stuff. Once that's all done, I have created my session. So basically, I log that, well, not log, but I, I put that information into my session table. I create a flow entry, I have my information there, and it's cached in that flow table. Now, the packet is handed off to the same place, this point right here, just as if I had packets coming in and matched an existing session. So this is my flow table lookup that occurs right here. So once I have an entry in the flow table, this is where I actually apply things. So I'll apply my firewall options based on what's set up here, based on the zones, based on the policy. I will apply some basic TCP features to make sure that it's not a DOS attack or an anomalous packet. Uh, I'll apply any of the NAT features that I have, either destination and or source. And I'll apply my services uh, ALGs at that point. So once the packet goes through everything that my policies have determined, then I'm sent back out. And again, I can have output filters, again being stateless, and output shapers to actually get out to the interface. So I'll say my interface is down here, so egress. And put my ingress interface over here. But that basically shows how packets are going to go. So first time packets get to go up through here all the way around out and down and if I'm any subsequent packets do a different color then I simply go up here and straight over and down and out okay, so a whole lot faster second time around all by the idea of what is in my flow table entries right there so see really not all that bad but this is the idea of what flow based forwarding is going to be on my SRX routers. Now that we have the overview done, now we're going to get to the cool stuff. I hope this micro nugget has been informative for you, and I'd like to thank you for viewing.